This is the Elect Intuitive Prophetess back again with another spiritual energy read. Please subscribe to the channel, press the like feature. Give me that thumbs up. It keeps me tapped in by permission to your current energy. All of my messages and readings are timeless. So whenever you hear it, that's when it's meant for you to apply it to your special situation. Please be advised that every read is not for everyone. I may not be the preferred reader for you, but you're listening. So there is a message that the universe would like to relay to you, and you're only going to take that which resonates and leave the rest behind. Welcome to the test, the Elexo Tribe. I am so glad to have you guys tuning in and listening to this channel on today. I appreciate my day oneers. I appreciate those of you that are just now finding me and coming aboard. I do appreciate all the energetic exchanges and financial contributions that have been made towards the growth and expansion of the channel. All cross watchers are welcome. Prophets, prophetess, seers, light workers, members of the soul tribe family, and I've just recently added members of the clergy. You are welcome to this judge-free zone where we do not judge anyone, but we only offer light, love, hope, and healing as we assist one another on this journey that we call life. Let's get a spiritual word in before we go any further. May the Lord of peace himself give you peace at all times and in every way. 2 Thessalonians 3 and 16. Uh, the energy on today is as of such. Just let it play out. <coughs> I never hardly cough, get choked, or anything while I'm doing the broadcast, unless I'm suffering from sinus issues or a cold. I don't have either one right now. And immediately, I've been up, I've drank water, I've been moving around, I didn't just wake up and jump on YouTube. So when my voice just did that, the person that's in your energy right now, they're in a lot of trouble. I'm seeing the number five. I told you guys I use cards to tap into the collective's energy, maybe give me a little bit more clarity. Uh, some people like to see the cards, the information, because they feel secure that, you know, well, you know, maybe this is real. Maybe they're not, the reader isn't making anything up. But in my case, I don't even need cards. There may be days where I don't do use any cards, but I'm telling you right now, the number five energy in numerology is here is very present. If you're dealing with uh, the religious side of the number five, it does uh, represent grace, favor, but numerology, period, in the 3D and 5D community as well, number five represents immediate great change, inevitable change. You're not going to be able to get around it. And I'm telling you, number five energy is coming through very strong right now. Somebody, I'm hearing the person that you're thinking of right now is in a lot of trouble. They're in a very unstable situation. They're very unpredictable. Be very careful. Uh, entertaining information or transmuting information to this person. You might want to continue to stay in hermit mode when it comes to this person. Stay away from them and out of their energy because they are dealing with, I hear, boatloads of karma. The karmic activity is so strong in their life right now, they can't even believe it. I think this person really thought that you could play in the universe and send out negative energy and do negative p things to people, persons, places, or things, and it never comes back to you. This is a person that may have slipped through the spiritual cracks for years and keep, let me remind you, karma doesn't forget anything. She doesn't forget a name, a place, a person, a date, a time, uh-huh, but because their time may have not been uh, in, um, what's the word I could use in correlation to what we call time. Maybe it's been 10, 20, 30 years. They thought they were getting by. Nobody gets by. And so now it's their time. Number five energy, 21. I see world energy coming into focus in my mind's eye. Number 10 is tower energy. I do believe I'm calling that correctly. Uh, and depth number 13, uh, I'm just calling out things that I'm saying. Judgment is here. I'm not sure what the, the number is for judgment, but it is here. I, I'm talking about Intero as well. So when we're talking about a numerology period, we know that eight and nines deal with judgment, uh, balance, karmic activity. I'm telling you all this before I even touch a card, okay? 
please like, share, and subscribe to the channel. I would just love to have this subscription. Yes, I'm trying to get somewhere. I'm trying to level up here in the spiritual community. I am still uh, paying for just a little bit of karmic debt where we learn our lessons, we get our lessons well, and we move on. That's why I can relate with my audience so well. I get it. I may not understand your exact situation, but we all have to deal with with karmic activity, but it's here very strong for the person that is on your mind. A lot of emotion, uh, cups, energy, water, people crying, arguing, uh, fussing, fighting. That energy is here. Cups and wands, cups and wands. I feel it. I can sense it. So let's tap in a little further because uh, spirit is telling you this is the message. We'll just get confirmation as we go further. Let it all play out. It's going to play out. Spirit doesn't need your assistance. You need to continue to focus on self-love, self-healing. When this person, five, 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 when I looked at the timer, guys, come on now. The change is inevitable. You got to move forward. Whether you choose to let this go or not, spirit is going to shake you loose. Because some of this karmic, just karmic activity, just like they can't share the blessings that are coming to you financially, especially. That's where they want to, you know, hey, they this energy feels like somebody owes them something. They feel like they have a monopoly. They feel privileged. They feel entitled. This is narcissistic energy coming through. Narcissism covers so many grounds, so many areas that people do not like to deal with. It's karmic in a in a religious situation. Somebody did you dirty in a uh, religious setting. And because I'm talking to so many people, thousands of people right now, I don't know exactly what, who, how you worship, but what, I don't know. You could have been caught, uh, caught up in cult activity. Maybe somebody did you wrong. Maybe you didn't realize you were in a cult until it was too late, until you tried to step away, until you put your energy back. Whatever they did to you or didn't do to you, karma is coming in because, see, some people were told to bless you. They were told to be an assistant to you, assistance to you. They were told to help you, and they totally ignored it. You know, you get karma for being disobedient and hard-headed. It comes back on you. So for all you people listening to me or hearing this um, broadcast, or you may say, well, I'm perfect. I haven't done anything to anybody. When you don't obey spirit, you get karma for that. So just like I have karma, they have karma, you have karma, we all have karma. But this energy is zeroing in on this situation. I don't know. You might want to call it twin flame, soulmate energy. I don't know. Ex, divorce, higher level commitment. I don't know what you want to call it. Ooh, I smell seafood. Literally fried shrimp. Somebody loves seafood. Y'all went out on a date last night. Y'all went to a seafood restaurant and you ordered the fried shrimp. And it was actually good. That is so crazy how that just came through here. <laughs> you also had, um, and somebody's going to confirm this in the comments. I'll, don't worry, I'm patient. I'll wait. Might be Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, but I'll, you'll confirm it. You had uh, some type of double chocolate uh, fudge, something, some type of chocolate dessert. It was really good. You could have went to an actual seafood restaurant. It's it's something about a seafood restaurant. You know, I hope y'all wasn't arguing at the seafood restaurant. See, this energy is getting juicy now. I'm tripping. Ooh, the tea is coming through from the universe. Let me keep going here because you need to just let this situation play out. Take your hands off it. God does not need your help. Something's getting ready to play out. Man, we have nine of cups energy here. See, that? I call that my wish card, my wish fulfillment. Yeah, you know what your deepest desires are. You're, you're, you think your wishes are granted. You think you thought this relationship was really flourishing. You thought this was your end all be all. You married this. In some cases, y'all got married. You didn't know him long enough is what spirit is saying. Because immediately after nine of cups, there's the sun in reverse. Oh my goodness. You found out how, just how immature, lazy, and childish this energy is. Fussing, cussing, blaming everybody. Don't want to take no accountability. They're not facing reality. They do not want to deal with reality. 
Knight of Pentacles energy is here. Virgo energy, Earth energy. Somebody's moving slow. They're moving slow, y'all. Let me tell y'all. They moving slow because they done got tangled up in a web that they can't get out of. They was easy to make this web and get in it. They set this web or went towards this web because they thought it was going to catch everything in it that they needed. Greedy, greedy, greedy. Now they're tangled in their own web. Oh, what a tangled web we weave when we practice to deceive. I don't even know who wrote that. If y'all find out, put it in the comments. Yes, that's what we're talking about. That's why that five, five of swords energy is here. The next card up is the devil. I'm trying to tell you. The devil energy is here. That's the number 15. That's uh, more earth energy, Capricorn energy. Uh, then we, the, the devil, y'all know it's not good, period, for the devil to show up in anybody's read. This is the person that is on your mind. The nine of swords, these people, they don't even sleep. They're not getting any sleep. First off, they're not getting any sleep. They don't sleep. They take naps, cat naps here and there, not even really in a deep sleep. They can't dream because they don't go to sleep. Wow. They don't even make it to REM state when they're sleeping. Their, their, their judgment, their thinking is very cloudy. Only time. Let it play out. 11, 11 when I looked at the timer. Oh my goodness. Your intuition is so on point. Ten of Wands energy. They're under a heavy load. They can't handle it. Knight of Wands in the reverse. They're not strong. They can't handle this situation. Six of Wands in the reverse. See, something is coming towards your person, that tower energy. Something's going to come from out of left field. And this, see, I know why I just saw the uh, uh, Knight of Pentacles. This tower is a very fall. It, it's going to fall very slowly. My stepmom, her energy is here right now. That tower is going to fall very slowly because somebody is going to be humbled by the universe. Somebody didn't listen. Somebody was hard-headed. You got to let it play out, collective. Stay out of it. This is out of your league. This is out of your lane. Stay in your lane. Somebody go in the comment section and type, stay in your lane, collective. Stay there. Do not get out. Don't try to speed up past nobody. Please don't go over the double yellow line. Not this time. Just chill. Because guess what? This situation can, will, and must play out. It's playing out as we speak. White card energy is real-time energy. If you don't see your information, do not force this read to fit. Oh, my God. My left ear is ringing. This is going on right now. This is going on right now. It's going to play out. It got to play out. Stay out of it. There will be an ending here. It's going to come abruptly. This tower is falling slow, meaning that information is coming out. Information is being presented. And it's going to cause an abrupt decision. Yes, it is. I, I can feel it. Your name could be Diamond. I don't know why I just got a scene in my head from the movie Players Club. This is an ugly situation here. It is not pretty. If y'all seen Players Club and, and Diamond is somebody, maybe I could have her own movie. I don't know. I know that was the early 90s, but Diamond is here. I don't know why. And I saw a scene from Players Club. Maybe someone could be in the adult entertainment uh, business or you trying to tap into it. At this time, Spirit is saying that is not a good idea. Wow. Okay, the letter B, first and the last initial. Sagittarius is here. Pisces is here. You could be listening to me from the state of Ohio. Your name could be Daniel, Christopher, Andrew, Ethan, Christoph, Shirley, Cheryl, Cheryl, Sophia. You could be listening to me from the state of Oregon. Wow. One of my mentors just showed up. Spiritual energy is here. Spirit guides are protecting you. Angels are protecting you. Kansas City, Missouri. I don't know why I'm hearing that. Nebraska and or Utah. Give me a shout out. I promise I'll holler back. Your name could be Alexander, Nicole, Nicholas, Lawrence. The letter O is here. First, middle, last, initial. What are the messages for the collective? Let it play out because it's going to play out. It's playing out as we speak. I just said your name could be Shirley. Wow, another spirit guide came out, Shirley. North Carolina, Missouri is here. The letter E, the letter K, the letter T, first, middle, last, initial, the great state of Pennsylvania. 
Yes, your name could be Karen, Kimberly, Linda, Lisa, Madison, Maddie, Matty, with two T's, Liza, Corrine or Corian or Corianne, Karina, Blue, first and the last initial B, you could be a uh, Blue. And your emotions, your your nickname could be Blue. You could have a pet named Blue. You could like Blue Cheese. Your name could be Jack, Thomas, Tommy, Joshua, Harry. We have Lovey, Catherine, Pinky, Odell, the letter H, first middle, last initial. Your name could be Bob or Betty, Brittany, Carol, or Charlotte. The great state of Kentucky is here. What are the messages for the collective on this day? Let it all play out. Let it play out. It ain't going to be pretty, but that's why spirit has you out of the loop right now. Rejection is your protection, collective. Edward, Eddie, Gerald, Gerard, Jamie, Ramona, Rhonda, Rita. At the top of the deck, we have Virgo energy and the state of Vermont is at the bottom of the deck. Let's break down these letters here. See if there are any hidden messages coming in from Spirit at this time. What we got here? What do we? What are we looking at here? Uh, we have hot. Uh oh, too hot. Gotta run for shelter. Gotta run for shade. I think that's by cooling the gang. Too hot, baby. Uh, gotta clean up the mess we made so long ago. Wow. So it's a hot, hot. The tea is hot. Be hot. Okay, it's hot. It's hot where they are right now. Man, your person done messed up. They can't run right now. They, they're they going to do it. I bet they're going to do it. Look at that. They're going to run. Oh, they're definitely going to leave this situation prematurely. Yes, they are. Mm-hmm. Let me tell you, somebody found out that this is what they were dealing with. That's what they found out. They found it out. That garden two energy is definitely here. <laughs> yep, they found it out. Toe-to-toe. Toe-to-toe energy. They're fighting. They're going toe-to-toe, blow for blow. I'm hearing sirens again. This energy came through last weekend on Labor Day weekend. What the heck? See, the, the feminine energy can't go anywhere. I, it's, a, it's a situation where this masculine energy probably moved in with her or it's her stuff or she has the upper hand. And so there's a lot of ego flying. See, your person, they're, they're, they're experiencing an ego death. Adjust the energies as a need. It could be the other way around. This could even be a same-sex couple, but they're going toe-to-toe -to -toe and it ain't pretty. Mm -mm. This is not pretty. This is an ugly situation playing out. It has to play out. You stay out of it. Actually, this person needs to go. They need to flee before somebody becomes unalived or something to that extent. He, he needs to go. I don't have an S here, so I'm definitely talking to a masculine energy. He got to go, baby. T-O-O-T-T, -T -T, uh, who else is here? B-K, B-T-T-K. Ooh, T, K, O. Wow. We got he and we got T, K, O. I'm telling y'all, fighting energy is here all day long. The energy, just let it play out. Stay out of it. Let them fight it out. Let them, this is not your game. This is not your fight. This is not even your win. This is this person's, the biggest loss of their life. The dumbest mistake they ever did. They're fighting now to get out of it and they're putting up a good one and they will get out, but your person will not be the same. They will not look the same. They will not talk the same. I hope this won't be due to a physical injury that may be inflicted during this heated breakup. Oh, there's a heated breakup here. The. What about the? Why am I looking at the? The, okay, the, okay, the end, okay, I don't know. It's going to be okay for the collective. The collective, it will be okay for you. Mm. He bet. Something about he. 
he bet. He made a bet and it's not okay. It didn't work out. So this person took a chance. They gambled with their life with this person or whatever and it's not working out. The situation isn't getting any better. What are the messages for the collective? What are the messages for the collective on today? Mm, it ain't working. I'm here. It's not getting any better. It's not getting any better. I tried to make it work. I tried to put up with the... This is this is the karmic. Whoever they went towards or that they're with right now in the house with under the same roof went. This is karmic energy that I'm now channeling. They're saying they did everything they could to help this person, take care of this person. This person drained me dry. They bled me dry. I'm in a bad shape now financially. I'm about to lose my home. My car is jacked. Wow, your person that did an if this this is a narcissist supply demand it didn't work out it didn't work out for the narcissist or the third party this is not your energy collective this is i didn't even all i know is i heard let it play out we got 119 which is a 10 y'all come on look at these tens they coming out death energy tens is out here like crazy intuition is here mm. these karmics is fighting this is more than one karmic couple Maybe you have some relatives. Look at this, 16 at the bottom of the deck. That's tower energy. The number 16 is tower. I said it. I said this was mm, 222. You're being divinely guided. Your steps are ordered at this time. What are the messages for the collective? I really hope this, uh, this uh, reading does well with views. I do hope so, but if not... Whoever is listening to this, you need to hear this. Here's another number 10. I can't make this stuff up. So we got 10, 10. Wow. You can have a birthday in Lib uh, Libra energy, uh, October, end of September. Virgo energy is here, September the 1st, September the 10th. Uh, October the 1st, October the 7th. Look, at I can't make this up. I didn't even realize I was holding 16. Tower again. We got a tower here twice. Let this crap play out. Stay out of it. This is all kind of scary. You could be 50. You could have been born in 1950. Taurus energy is here. Why is go in this deck? This shouldn't even be here. Somebody is going. Keep going. No, this is to this karmic situation. There's a breakup. Somebody's getting out. 50%. 50 is here twice, y'all. Come on now. Let's go in the comment section. 5 plus 5 equal. 10, bingo, 10, 10, 10. I, you know what? Let's keep going here. Oh my God. We got 16. We know that's tower energy, sudden upheaval, broken pride, complete disaster, suffering. Then we got 16 again. We got 16 here four times. Intuition just showed up again, letting us know we're on the right path. Number four is here. I'm definitely, I'm going to make this my collective number, my chosen ones, my leaders, those that have been called to go on a uh, path. Maybe that's not quite status quo, that's not popular with people. That's what that number four. Here we go. Number five. How did I start the read off before I touched the card? Sudden change. Seven, seven, seven. This is my this is my five D God energy, divine intervention, change, sudden change, upheaval. Somebody's gonna feel like it was their lucky day, and when that door opened, I hope they're smart enough to run out of it and don't look back. Number two, look, I'm still getting the same numbers over and over again. Y'all ain't gonna believe this. At the bottom of the deck, devil energy. I called out devil energy a few minutes ago. The number fifteen. Look the next card up. Look at the next card up. I, what's going on here? What in the world is going on? I thought 13 was devil. I guess I'm wrong in tarot. 15 is tarot. I mean, it's devil energy. And then we got 10, 10 here. How many 10s are here? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And if I keep looking, I'm sure it's plenty more here. Because 6 and 4 is 10. Mm, 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 mm. What are the messages for the collective? I got to get out of this energy, out of this read. I know what my mistake is. 10 and 
in numerology stands for endings, new beginnings. 13 in tarot starts for death. It stands for death, is death. 15 is devil energy and 16 is tower energy. I just want to make that clear. Even with the numbers shifting and moving around, this is not good for the person that's in your energy. We have the number 30 here. We have 333. Three, three. I told you, you guys are being spiritual, spiritually protected. We have intuitive energy. It's very strong. Now, I got this right. Again, immediate, sudden change. Mm, you're the star. 17 is here. Stay out the way. Don't get in the way of this mess right here. Because the number that I did have right, too, was tower. Well, it's not that I didn't have them wrong. I called them for the wrong, you know, depending on what you're dealing with in numerology. But to get tower here four times, I ain't never seen that. And look, it's what's still at the bottom of the deck is another 10. The person that's on your mind, the point is they're in trouble. They're in a lot of trouble. 14, 14, 11, 11 is here twice. Follow your intuition. Things are about to start over. You're greatly, highly protected. 18, 18, which is nine balances are coming in. Libra energy, Virgo energy is here. Pisces, Aquarius, Taurus. It's just somebody needs to keep it moving. Collective, you need to keep it moving. This fight is going to get ugly this weekend. I'm going to sit down and make me a cheat sheet so I don't call those numbers out wrong again. But if you were actually in this room with me right now and could feel this energy of complete turmoil, confusion, bickering, bickering, arguing, somebody is blaming somebody for their situation. They're not taking accountability. All of this is going to result in a slow falling tower that's going to have all types of secrets exposed, foolishness, cussing, fussing. I see somebody getting a weekend bag together. They got to get out of where they are. Um, I'm going to leave y'all with some one-liners here. There's a pregnancy. We got niece. We got player. We got, yes, run. Oh, my God. I hope this player, player ain't got your niece pregnant because Spirit is saying yes and somebody needs to run. Now, that's a clear message right there. Mm, mm, mm. Niece could also represent ancestral energy. There could be some family members involved. Maybe you had a niece telling you to run. Maybe your niece warned you. Maybe a family member warned you. Pregnancy does not necessarily mean it could mean somebody's carrying an actual fetus. But but whatever this thing was, pregnant, this energetic pull, this this five, this sixteen, these towers. Uh, it was like that. It was waiting, waiting, waiting to be delivered. This karma, this ego death, was waiting to be delivered to this this player and now it's give it's, it's it's birthing this karma is now coming out it is in full effect it is materializing it's manifesting for this poor person and player energy look at that they took a risk you know who this person is they took a risk and and and, and seven of cups they chose wrong they chose wrong somebody could have even came for you and, and they're, they're, they're on the run now. Spirit, they can't run from spirit. Reconcile is in reverse. So whoever this is, you reject it. Or they rejected you. Look, change is coming. We have lesbian in the reverse. Mm. I did call out some same-sex stuff earlier. I mean, if you watch the news closely, I mean, you got to be careful. Even when people saying they're the same sex, they may be bi, they may be lying to you. But to get cheated on hurts, whether it's same sex or different sex, your heart got broke. Somebody lied. And, and so this person could have cheated with the opposite after telling you they were bi or same sex or somebody cheated. Mm. Damage is here. Slow is in reverse. So see, that Knight of Pinnacle energy moves slow, but this karma, mm, I said a slow falling tower 
but results and receipts are going to be coming in fast while this situation is unfolding. Three, some somebody cheated, man. Adjust the, look, look at what came out when I said somebody cheated, man. Look at this. Look what flew across the board here. Yes. That was the first thing out. Change is here twice. Simplify. Somebody's about to get out of a relationship, but it's going to be a horrific ending. They're about to stop. They're about to give up. And this is only going to end up with somebody being hurt. 3D, 5D, however you want to call it. I pray nobody goes to the hospital. I pray nobody is unalive. But that energy is here. It's in full effect. It's in real time. I hope that I said something that resonates with someone. Please like, share, and subscribe to the channel. It would be greatly appreciated. Until next time, bye-bye.